All right, I want to show you how you can make good use of the solver. By default, the solver will only let you do single uh, letter variables, which is okay. But what if you want to do V final and V initial, uh, maybe acceleration in the X direction, acceleration in the Y direction? You know, you want to maybe be more creative with your variable names. It's not obvious how to do that, but I found it on the HP forum. Thought I would demonstrate it here. Show you another couple cool things too. So start out by going into the applications library and select, let's see, where's my cursor? Oh, there it is. Okay. Highlight the solve and I'm going to hit save, which will create a copy of the solver. So I'm not altering the original version and then I could give it any name I want. Um, enter a new name. Actually, can I edit it? Hold on. Yeah, edit. Solve. Okay, and then I could put a space and say something like new. And it's kind of hard the way I'm filming this to see all the letters. All right, so let's just say I called it that. Hit OK. OK. All right, so now that appears in the apps menu at the very bottom. And let's say now I want to set that up. So first of all, notice, highlight it like that. Go, uh, I don't think you need to highlight it. Just go into it. All right, go in there. And I'm not sure why it has that in there already when it's new. Oh, because it copied it from Solver, and that's what Solver had in it. So, yeah, that's no big deal. Then what you want to do next is hit the Shift and the Program button. Go to the top. That's the Solver app itself, and we're going to edit that. Hit Edit. And what we want to accomplish here is we want to have some more complex variable names. So I am going to hit Enter, go up here, and we are going to... I'll just do it, and you can watch. Go under Template, Function, Export. And now in there, I'm going to list the variables that I want to add. So let's say I want to do a, a V final. So I have to hit shift here because otherwise it'll default to uppercase. And let's say I want to add V initial. actually hard for me to see the way my lighting is. So I've got those two variables. Um, we could do an A and a T. So let's do alpha, shift, A, comma, and we'll do our last alpha, shift. And where's T? T. Okay, so we have those. Have to put a semicolon on the end here. To get a semicolon, you actually hit the shift and the characters button, which is right here and pick the character. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do it. Oh. Okay, there we go. Put my semicolon there. You can, I think, only put eight variables in each export command. So if you wanted more than eight, you would just hit enter here and do another export. So template function export type in your variable names, put another semicolon, um, and let, let's just do, I'll add a couple just to demonstrate. So let's see. So a VX and a VY. Need another semicolon here. Shift character. Um, can't tell what's picked. Okay, it puts a semicolon there. Now, there is one problem here. We need to get rid of these lines here, the end and that begin. Those are, I, I'm pretty sure we, I know we don't need them, so let's just get rid of them. Okay. 
Now we have that. Actually, I've got another begin and end because I inserted that two of those exports. So get rid of those. Get it to look like this. Then when you're done, I would recommend hitting the check button just to make sure everything's good, which it's not. I think because I maybe I don't need the uh, parentheses. Let's see if that's the case. Apologize, I don't remember. Now let's go with that. Check it. No errors. Okay, so it was. You don't want those parentheses. That's weird. So make it look just like this. And hit OK. We're good to go. I'm going to hit Escape. And now, when we run it, really just make it less confusing. Go into apps and just hit solve new. Now when we do this we can actually enter those variable names. So I could do my v final equals v initial plus a times t. It's time consuming to enter so I'll spare you all that. 